You have one, and welcome back to the birthday. I said that too soon. Welcome back to the birthday. Now, I want to apologise for the clusterfuck that was the last couple of last two episodes. Um, but you know, sorry, not sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, honestly, while they were clusterfucks, I liked, I liked both episodes very much. I was very proud of them. So, let's fucking make more episodes that I'm super proud of. Meg Liddy. It's time to go to the convent, Camilla. (laughs) Thanks so much for taking care of me all these years. It is nothing. We are grateful that we were able to to have the opportunity to take care of you. It's been great. Like, seriously, it's been so good. (laughs) Man, it's been great. You said that one too many times. Yeah, I'll be able to visit my friends again when I'm already a sister. And likely not a singer. (laughs) Of course, this will always be your home, honey. Thank you, sister. Before leaving, won't you say goodbye to your friends? Yes, they already said goodbye to them. I don't want to get them up uh, now. It's four in the morning. It's like light outside. (laughs) There's literally light. Like, the sky is blue. Besides, saying goodbye to them now would make me not want to leave. It would make me very sad to see their sad little faces. I understand. Goodbyes are very painful. We're definitely not going to kill you. What? Nothing, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I already have the things to ready. We can go now. I don't actually know if she they kill her. I just wanted to specify that. That's just a, that's just a little prediction, little theory. Okay, come on. See you later, Elvira, Allison, Bianca. I'll be back in a few years. I love you. Camilla says goodbye to the orphanage. She couldn't help but shed some tears. Man, I won't be able to beat up Alice anymore. (laughs) You won't be able to abuse Alice anymore. After a few hours, on the other girls got up. The first thing they did was go to Camilla's room and say goodbye to her. But Camilla had already left. Camilla. Because you didn't wake us up, we couldn't say goodbye. Thanks for pointing out the obvious, Alice. <laughs> was it, how did her voice was like the high pitch one? Not a day has passed, but I already miss you. The rest of the afternoon, the three girls were discouraged as night falls. <laughs> um, Camilla. Camilla. Bianca, the convent is not too far. I really hope I've got the right person there. That's where our wishes will come true. Camilla? (gasps) What a strange dream that was. I couldn't understand what she told me. I think it was kind of obvious. I don't remember what it was. (laughs) Ah, it must be that my mind trying to remember her in my dreams. I wonder if you're thinking of us right now. The next day, a floral cross has arrived at the orphanage. The sisters said they bought it from the convent as a thank you for the new student, Camilla. Bianca was sad thinking that Camilla would have liked to see the new offering. That's Camilla. They're like, they've killed Camilla. <laughs> like, there's not one doubt in my mind that that is Camilla. Elvira reassures her that Camilla may have helped prepare her, or at least they prepared her to become the fucking offering. The days went by, the three friends expected to receive messages from their friend, but not a single letter arrived. That's because the offering was a person, and that person was Camilla. (laughs) They were beginning to worry until the sisters explained that the lessons might be keeping her very busy. Yeah, she's a bit busy. Being dead. What? Nothing. So the weeks passed. <laughs> I just like the thought that that's an interaction. 
Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, being dead's keeping her. What? Nothing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just move on. And so the weeks pass. Bianca, Alice, and Elvira continue with their life in the orphanage. Elvira's 16th birthday was drawing near. Elvira was excited, but she went to the convent. To the convent, she could keep Camilla company. In addition to being able to see how she had been all this time. However, someone would knock on the doors of the orphanage looking to adopt one of them. Yo! Yo, Alice! <laughs> like the destiny is not even predetermined. Yo, yo, Alice! Yo, Alice, you should really go with this lady. She seems safe. You should go with her. Yo, yeah, really? You, th you think I should go with her? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> That's so nice of you, Bianca. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? <laughs> it was Miss Windmill. After talking with the sisters and the girls from the orphanage, she decided to, ad to adopt Elvira. Elvira did not seem to like the idea very much. And so she's like... <laughs> Like, oh yeah, you know, fucking windmill girl or whatever makes me uncomfortable. Hey, Alice. <laughs> Yo, Alice! Elvira did not seem to like the idea very much. I don't want to go. Your classic jigsaw, no Wi-Fi needed, free and fun. No annoying ad. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. That's crazy. Yo, okay. Still recording? Based. Alright. I don't want to go with her. It's not long before my birthday. I could go with Camilla. Camilla's dead. What? Nothing. I'm just, I'm just like she's dead. Whatever. I really wanted to see her again. You can tell you can tell the sisters you, you want to go. You, you can tell you can tell the sisters that you want to go to the convent vault voluntarily. That way they might cancel the adoption process. <laughs> you should have said it before, and tomorrow Miss Windmill will come back to pick me to pick you up. <laughs> Yo <laughs> It's just it wasn't it It's just I wasn't entirely sure. Hmm? She seemed kind of dodgy, hey Alice <laughs> I know, I have an idea. How brilliant! How brilliant you are, Alice. What did you come up with? That when Miss Will, that Miss Windmill adopt me instead of you. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go for it, Alice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't believe I'm gonna get to have a fat like a mum. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she's just voluntarily going to her do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know I should I should go with Miss Windmill. I sh go. You should go for it. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. What? Yes, yeah, so you can go with Camilla, and I can see what it's like to live in a family, to one day have my own. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work out. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh, Alice, will you do that for me? Of course. Anyway, in a few years, when we're all out of the orphanage, we'll meet again, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That, that'll happen. Uh, yeah, because of the promise we made to each other. <laughs> I mean, I'll definitely meet you again, Alice. Wow, you're really that confident? Yeah, pretty confident. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that's so cool. Yes, because of the promise we made to each other. Thank you so much, Al- Why is the- no. Thank you so much, Alice. Let's go ask the sisters if it's possible to make that change. Miss Windmill seems like a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's not mad that she couldn't adopt you, <laughs> The 
creator hates this woman. <laughs> yeah, she's a lovely. Go with her, Alice. She's a nice person. Yeah, I think so. Look, there is Sister Megalodine. If you did, you if you if. It's your chance to ask her. The sisters agree to Alice and Elvira's deal as long as Miss Windmill agrees. The next day, her surprise to her surprise, Miss Windmill ended up accepting Alice and went with her. Okay. If I'm going to kill a daughter in the future, I might as well go with this one. <laughs> Alice said a tearful goodbye to telling them not to forget their promise to meet again in a few years. Yeah, I won't. Man, our reunion is going to be so good. I'm so, I cannot wait. I'll be pregnant by then as well. Man, I'm excited to have a family. Yeah, you go for it, Alice. Man, this is going to be great. It was only a week before Elvira's birthday. Bianca was restless. She didn't want to go. She didn't want to be alone. She was the youngest of them for many years. She was going to have to wait a long time to go with them to the convent if they did not adopt her before her. <coughs> did that actually say that? Whatever. And so the days passed and Elvira's birthday arrived. Happy birth, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Yes. Uh, so that's Mary. Congratulations, Elvira. You, you are old enough to go to the convent to learn to be a sister. We definitely won't kill you and make you a, a sacrifice. Yeah. I'm excited. Yes, I am excited to see Camilla again. Will it be taller? Will she have another haircut? <laughs> I have so many questions to ask her. I'm dying to see her again. <laughs> that's no, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's that's why you're gonna die. What? Nothing. I'm glad to see you're so excited. Enjoy this last day, literally. <laughs> Say goodbye to your friends, who won't be able to see you again for a few years. Of course, I will enjoy this day with Bianca. Yes! Man, this is such a happy moment. <laughs> well, we have to do some things. Have a good time. Be careful, sister. Sure, be careful, sister. Hey, Bianca. Tell me. What do you think if today we see if our letter has been read by Flewer's Wish? Huh? But how will we know that? Simple. We will see if it's still in the well. If it's not there, that means Flewer's Wish took it to read it. I can just imagine like a god coming down, like like scooping through the letters. Yeah, I'll take this one. Mm, I guess that makes sense. And we can leave another letter telling it not to forget. <laughs> like... <laughs> Flewer's Wish accidentally picks up the Not Forget letter instead of the other one. <laughs> sure, it never hurts to make it remember. Yeah. Yes, let's meet in the evening in the altar room to prepare our letter. <laughs> okay. That night at the altar room. Ready, Bianca? Wait, I'm doing fucking Camilla voice. Camilla voice. God damn it. Very, it's like the high, it's like the witch voice. Are you ready, Bianca? Here we have our letter. Look, I made this one drawing of us to accompany the message. Oh, how beautiful! You made us. Oh, how beautiful you made us. I'm loving it. Dun, dun, dun. No, that's not it. I was trying to do the McDonald's fucking music. With this, yes, you or. With this, yes, or you have to read our letter, or I'll get angry and stop believing in your existence. 
I hate Elvira's voice. I can't wait for you to die, Elvira. <laughs> you won't have to wait long. <laughs> Let's go throw it in the well. The sky looks clear this time. Yes, like that time we saw the shooting star above us. That was very magical. I still remember it. Elvira throws the letter at the bottom of the well. Even though there was no shooting star this time, she was certain that her letter would be read. The card was lost in the bottom of the well, along with the other cards. Despite the fact that they tried to see it from above, they could not deduce what their cards were among all the ones that were... Amongst the were... Oh, that's impossible to see. It's too dark. We won't be able to know if Flewer's wish actually read our, our first letter. Let's think. So. Let's think so. The sisters always tell us we should think positive. You're right. We'll go back to sleep. I have to get up early tomorrow. This, Elvira, is something wrong. Yes, I wanted you to take this pulls out a ring <laughs> whoa I'm not gay <laughs> oh oh puts away the ring that's silent for the rest of the night <laughs> I'm sorry I'm just not into women no it's fine well, whatever oh but they are oh but they are flower hair clips it's okay I want to take them as a souvenir one for you and for Camilla I should have given Alice. I should have given Alice one, but I didn't think of it until yesterday. Thank you very much, Bianca. I'll give it to her. I'll have them here for now. How cute you look with them! It's just the earrings are too pretty. It's just that your earrings are too pretty. <laughs> yes, since I was very little, I liked to use them. I was like three when I got my first piercing. I was, I was literally a baby when I got my first piercing. Well, let's go to sleep, Bianca. It's already starting to get cold. And be careful that the ghost, sca that the ghost scares us again. The ghost doesn't scare us again now that the two of us are alone. Ghost? Oh, that was years ago. We never heard it again. Maybe it was just part of our suggestion to having, for having been reading so many horror books. What stories those books had? Well, let there be a ghost or I don't have to... Well, let there be a ghost or I don't have to sleep early. I don't know what that meant. Yeah, I don't know either. Let's go! They both go to sleep. The next morning, Bianca gets up early to say goodbye to Elvira. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yo, 15 minutes? Yes. Yo, yo, smash that subscribe for the birthday and future episodes. And Alice's... Yo, smash subscribe for Alice's happy future. <laughs> yo, smash subscribe for Alice's wide open and happy future. And also Elvira's. I'm sure she'll have a really ha happy and open future as well. But you